Throughout the series and Wings of Fire, there has never been anything so mysterious than Vulture. His past is shrouded in mystery, and we only get a few glimpses of what his past he did have. So in today's video, I'll start picturing or trying to theorize Vulture's past. And uh, before we begin, if you haven't read Darkness of Dragons, this may contain spoilers, so uh, you have been warned. When trying to puzzle Vulture's past, we must look into Darkness of Dragons as obviously most of the information resides there. In one chapter particular where Kibli is in Vulture's telescope room, Kibli mentions something about Vulture being connected to the royal family. We can now somewhat use that as an anchor point for our theory, but that's not really much information. Besides, only Kibli mentioning that, there's no one else who says anything directly about Vulture's past, so now we must rely on our previous knowledge. It showed that Vulture had extreme wealth. Though we never might have known where it came from, the possibilities may range from just collecting and hoarding money and jewels over time to perhaps his wealth when he was involved with the royal family. Though this may not be significant enough of evidence to form a theory, it is something that we may keep our minds on. One last thing that I think we should mention is Vulture ruling over the Scorpion Den. And there have not been any mentions of either a mayor or any figurehead operating the town, so I suppose it's safe to assume that Vulture either founded or ran the place many, many years ago. Now that we have at least some evidence to make a theory, let's begin. Now for the timeline, let's start to about Vulture's adulthood, since it seems like the most reasonable place to start. From this, we can assume that Vulture was either a duke or a minor noble who worked with the Sandwing Queen. Since Vulture was very greedy and cunning, he tried many ways to get more and more money from the queen's treasury. And though nobody noticed much at first, someone would sooner or later. And after the plot was unveiled, Vulture would have been thrown away from the palace into exile. Finding that no place was suitable for him to live, Vulture decided to create the Scorpion Den, where he would invite many criminals and other dragons into the town as safe haven for them. Over time, the little town would soon grow into a reputable, reputable place with many famous killers and assassins would go and perform their deeds. And there we lead to the present, I believe. Well, this is really my gist on how Vulture's past could have been, and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I did making it. If you did, please like and subscribe and share this video for more to see. Thank you and have a great day.